Previously on Family Business. The city We're in New York City to play our Savior Luther. Hey, Eli! You can't dribble it six times against the zone. First game back from injury. Y'all your lead guard, ain't you? It's been a while, but I'm ready to get out there. Ankle felt decent, still not 100%. It's really crazy the journey I've been on. A long way from Hickory. I think the season's going really good so far. Our record's way better than anybody thought it would be, way better than we thought it would be. We're a brand new team. I'm the only returner. We're just trying to find our spots. Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? No question. It's me. Man, we got a lot of great shooters. If you want to ask anyone that's not a hater, Took a tough loss to Skills Factory back in November. My dad said, he said it's either going to make our season or break our season. This could be that loss that literally changes our whole season. It definitely turned around in a good way. You know, ever since then we've been playing really well. They're overthinking. So they're, they're not playing that instinct, they're not playing that habit. We're gonna be good coming out of the third quarter, right? We're gonna be good, just keep. They can't guard you. What's it? Good game, buddy. We've been on the road playing everybody, it just doesn't stop. Jordan, he's been playing at a really high Stop, level Jordan. for the past couple games. Stop, he's Jordan. really unguardable. The pass! Against Bella Vista, it was a tie game with like 10 seconds left. Six, nine, eight, seven. I was just dribbling out the clock, and I drove. I got into the paint, and I kicked out to Dylan. He had a game winning three. It's crazy just looking back five, six months ago. I'm just a catch and shoot guy playing AU with my brother. And then, you know, Eli probably had no thoughts about going to OTE. And then, fast forward four months, now I'm the leader of my team. And Eli's playing for a whole new organization. So it's just crazy how far we've come in such a little time. I really felt like I had something to prove to my teammates just to show them I can be the leader that, that our team needs. If y'all don't want to be great, y'all don't want to care, just go ahead and leave. Because I know me, Jordan, and Dylan, we want to win. So if y'all don't want to win, just go. Ever since we've been in Atlanta, you know, we've been really far away from our home state. So coming back to Hickory is really like our homecoming. Back to the 828, that's our home, man. We still run it here. You know we had to show out. We did a little charity game in Hickory. We've been playing all these high level games. come out and just play a game where you can have fun and not really have any pressure on you. It was a lot of fun. We're going for the three-point record today. Yeah. We're saying it now. The three-point record is, I think they said 30. We're going, 30 to, be, we're going to be 30 tonight, all right? Have fun, man. Have fun. We've been winning big games, but we've been out of the hoop state. Like, we hadn't been on people's minds. And so let's, let, let's remind them who we are. And these people are so excited. So play as hard as you can. And, uh, and let's try to break some records. Our goal was to either shoot a three or dunk, so no layups, no mid-range, nothing like that. And we broke the national record for high school for three-pointers in that game. We hit 52. Y'all know the vibes. We outside with it. We're the Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Outer Banks is definitely one of the top tournaments in the state. It's just a crazy tournament. There's going to be a ton of people there. It was like a 10 hour drive, so obviously all of us in the van. It's gonna be funny, just the guys messing around. Dylan had to go pro. We're working out tomorrow with Vaughn. Yeah, bet. 
Knock him we out. We're right down at 3 though. Huh? 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. Man, I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to work out. all night. Work, work out all night. <laughs> We're not going to sleep. <laughs> it was really entertaining. Get that chicken. Come on, Rocky. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the Outer Banks are beautiful, even in December. This isn't my part of the state, but I definitely miss North Carolina. Here with Isaac Ellis. What do you got to say, man? Nothing, man. Let's get it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Polar plunge, that's whenever you go in the ocean when it's super cold, so it was the beginning of December, so it was really, really cold. You run in and it just, it, it just shocks your body. After this long stretch of games, that cold plunge is exactly what my body needs. It's so cold, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cold. It's just nice to get a moment off the court like this during a long season. We play the Burlington School, top 10 team in the state. And me and Jordan come out for 43. Man, we're really a tough duo. We both might be small, but we definitely play bigger than our size. This one-two punch that we have is gonna be deadly for the rest of the season, for sure. It was a really close game for me, Jordan, and Graham. We play really well. Man, we're deep. Everyone's starting to step up. Hey, maybe on me, family on stage. One, two, three. Ready. It was a really big win. Definitely one of the games I really wanted to win this year. What a show we put on. Our preseason playing really good. First game didn't get to play that much, didn't get hurt. I missed three to four games, but it, it felt like longer. But I realized every time you go down, you always come back up no matter what. My comeback has been different. Starting to find my way here and uh, had back to back 20 point games. Set the league record for threes. I went from the last pick in the draft to starting for the best team in the league. I've had like my best few games with Pat this second semester. Wow. The finish. Eli Ellis. Sorry, it's Eli. Him open. Eli for three. Eli Ellis. Eli with a nice game. answer. We have a four point game. Playing really right now, knocking down shots, finding my role in my niche. Just keep doing that and hopefully we can win the finals. We have a game in North Carolina on MLK Day. I'm excited to head back to my home state, the Hoop State. A tray from North Carolina as well. It's really a homecoming for all of us. I have to practice trades over there with Millen, he's banned. So I decided to give my shot, try to dunk something. Got really close on a few of them, but didn't, wasn't able to put it through. Uh, yeah, if I really wanted to dunk it, I would. Number eight, welcome home, Mr. Trey Parker. Expectations, prove a point, prove that we're still the top people in North Carolina and beat both these guys. Word of God game was great. Didn't hear many shots, but didn't get as much minutes either. You know, it's kind of the uh, Trey show. We 
which is his city, so it was pretty cool. One by 14. Next game, I came in there with a little chip on my shoulder. I was the first person to score for the Reapers, hit a corner three. We had on a fast break. He caught the ball and bobbled it, and I tried to steal it. I hit his arm, and not on purpose. He goes, don't hit my effing arm. Don't hit my effing arm. I was like, who are you talking to? You're literally soft. And I said some other stuff to him. I feel like I can get into my flow again, so that's really confidence booster. Yeah, you know, me and Kobe George, we've always had a uh, kind of, I would say, North Carolina beef. You know, he's never beat me. He was at Burlington School and I beat him uh, both times in eighth grade year. Uh, that's when it really all started, all the beef started. And, you know, I never back down from anybody, get into it with somebody, and I always win, so there's not as much he could say anymore. He grabs my jersey like this. I turned around, hit him in his chest, grab his jersey, and then it just went back and forth, and then the rest broke it up, so. This was a tough game. Winston-Salem was putting up a fight, but played really solid, and we got the win, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of people thought I was going to come here and sink and not be able to hold my own. I know the work that I put in behind closed doors. Now it came full circle to coming back home to North Carolina. And I showed everybody in my home state that I'm really about this life. Now my goal is to be the youngest player to win an OTE championship. Everybody said I was too young to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this top competition. They all said I was too small and that I couldn't lead my own team. And not only did I show that I can compete with the best, but I showed that I can be as good as my brother. It all came back together with this trip back to NC. Now the goal is to bring a title back to Moravian, something that Eli was never able to do. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are non-stop, and we're just getting started. Get like me, and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below, and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.